The next phase is boot device selection phase. And uh, we can see that already in this phase, we got UFI interface defined. So our BDS phase can use all the uh, boot services, all the runtime services, everything what is defined in UFI specification. So we can see that, that despite UFI specifications is quite big, uh, the use of those interfaces is quite late. Um, all, uh, the, all the guts of the components that established this interface had to be developed um, um, separately and probably very close to, to the vendors of the hardware um, to make it correct, to correctly expose that interface. So BDS is uh, responsible for loading um, the operating system or, or some uh, transient uh, applications, some, for example, um, Memtest or, or some UFI shell, those, those can be run uh, in, in BDS. Um, so in, typically in BDS, uh, we can see all the devices. So because we can see all the devices, we can select boot media and we can decide what operating system we're booting. Um, typically this boot media, we will look for, for in this boot media, we'll look for OS loader, uh, which would be in um, portable execu ex executable image format, uh, typically with uh, .efi extension. Um, the, the order, the boot order is, and, and the behavior of the BDS phase is defined through UFI variables, uh, typical, which, which we can modify either from operating system, either from, um, UFI setup menu, which is this, uh, gray, gray, blue, uh, screens that we can enter during the boot process. Or, or maybe in modern cases, this is even fancy GUI. Um, yeah, so by default, there is some, there is some default file that BDS uh, look for. So it looks on the first partition for the file EFI uh, slash boot slash boot and then architecture.efi. So for example, for x86 architecture, 64-bit uh, uh, would be boot x64.efi. Um, yeah, and if, of course it iterates through all bootable partitions and first one which will be found will be executed. Um, in this phase, this phase typically ends with exit boot services. So there is, uh, we discussed that there are various types of applications. One of this application can be OS loader and this OS loader or kernel, which this OS loader loads, uh, execute function exit boot services, which ends up this phase and ends up um, um, availability of the boot services functions. And of course, uh, we mentioned that there is this uh, responsibility confusion because um, most operating system tend to integrate uh, OS loader with the kernel. And, uh, and that means that uh, having separate bootloader like grab, cbios, apc, uh, may cause some technical difficulties with the question, should uh, the bootloader do the exit boot services or maybe uh, it should load the operating system and rely, rely on operating system that the, the operating system will do the exit boot services. 